Hey everybody, today I'm going to give all of our annuals another dose of water soluble fertilizer and that's been our secret to keeping these beautiful baskets and containers blooming all season long. So you can see, especially with plants like petunias, if they get a lot of fertilizer you get tons of flowers, lots of growth, really good vigor on them. Uh, it really allows you to maximize your plants, keeps them going and going and going. So they do need that regular fertilizer. Now that is specifically on annuals. We don't do this with our shrubs, we don't do it with our perennials, just our annuals, annuals because these are plants that are bred to bloom a lot if they get enough food. So as long as we're giving them food, they keep going. So uh, I'm gonna give them all a nice little dose. I'm doing this right now uh, specifically because I wanna give them another good boost uh, because we're doing a two for one sale on all of our annuals, whether it be baskets, containers, individual plants. We don't have very many left, but what we do have left, we're doing two for one. And I want them to look really good for everybody who's taking them home. Uh, and I do wanna remind everybody to make sure that you're watering at least once a week uh, or every third watering. Uh, that's usually the best way to go if you think they need another boost you can always do it a little bit more like every other watering or every other day that type of thing uh, you can give them a boost don't do that all summer uh, with that extra but once a week is kind of what we recommend and that's been working really great for us Today we're using miracle Grow with Bloom Booster. You can use the regular miracle Grow, but this one does have the extra nutrients that really encourage blooms on annuals specifically, so it's a really good one to have. You're gonna follow the instructions on the box for whichever type of fertilizer you use. In this case, we measured out, they provide a scoop for you, and we just put the proper amount into our bucket or our watering can, add our water, and then you just water like you would normally water with uh, just plain water. And that's all you need to do to give enough food to really take off. This time of year, I'll mix the fertilizer into buckets. Normally, uh, during the year when we have lots of plants, we mix it in with our water tank and, and it goes in through our whole watering system. But since we don't have tons to do, I just do it this way. And basically, depending on the size of pot, I give them, like in this case, what is this, a four cup? 32 ounces, four cups. Uh, like a, one that size gets one dose. So this is gonna be whatever you normally would water them. This one gets one dose, but I have a lot of bigger pots that I'm gonna give a little bit more to. And I'm just gonna go through one by one, give them all their water, and they are gonna be happy with this. And you're gonna notice a lot of times a difference. If they've been looking a little sluggish, uh, you can, you'll see a difference pretty quickly. When you're watering plants on the ground, you're gonna to wanna to try to water the roots. You're gonna give them the amount of water that you would normally give them, so whatever that might be. Sometimes you have to estimate if you usually use your garden hose, but uh, otherwise, usually I just kinda of do two cups per plant, maybe a little more if it's in a really dry spot. I can see here the soil's not really taking up too much of the water, so I'm gonna to have to let it soak in a little bit before I add more. Uh, but you just kinda of estimate, and usually it works out pretty well. So regular fertilizing is very important with annuals if you want to get those continuous blooms. Now if you have plants that you've been fertilizing and they just don't seem to be doing really well, it could be possible that you're overwatering them. That's really common with like calibracoas, even sometimes your geraniums, a lot of your succulents like portulaca and uh, mizu. Uh, those plants like a little bit of a dry down between, so uh, keep that in mind. And in general, plants don't want to stay in really wet soil. They want moist soil, so they don't want completely wet. So keep that in mind. And then uh, there are some plants that don't really like a lot of fertilizer, so we usually uh, don't fertilize like sun patients very much and begonias and portulaca and some of the succulents. Uh, those tend uh, to not like as much fertilizer, so we avoid uh, that doing it as regularly. So especially those succulents, we don't do very much. In patients, we don't do much. Begonia is kind of half time, so every other time uh, we tend to do those. Uh, you'll find what works for you, and your plants will let you know uh, when they need maybe a little more fertilizer, so pay attention to them, and uh, it should all work out for you. So hope this helps. Talk to you guys all very, very soon.